Whoa! Oh, that was a jump. <laughs> my very first dirt bike moto vlog which I'm very excited about um, I'm not sure how it's gonna go because I need a lot of concentration to ride this thing so uh, I, I might not really be able to ride that fast or that that much you know like that intensely but anyway we're gonna give it a shot so what I want to talk about is should I or anyone for that matter or shouldn't I uh, try to convince someone to buy a motorcycle a lot of people who are just they, they, they want to ride so there's somebody who who has the want to but they're too scared to because they don't want to get hurt and they don't want to um, you know or, or they don't want to get killed now obviously that's a very valid concern and I would never try to tell someone it isn't because it could happen um, but but that being said is it something that you should try to comfort someone and tell them no no don't worry about it yes it's risky except you know blah 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 you know this reason that reason that reason you should you should still do it or is it something that somebody has to solely make the decision on on their own and you can't try to influence what they want to do um i personally am not sure i on one hand i feel as though I, I should do all that I can to try to convince the person because motorcycle riding is awesome and uh, I, I really think they would enjoy it um, even more than they might think they would if they would just give it a shot. But on the other hand, if they did get hurt, the last thing I need is for them to, to regret their decision because they weren't the one who, to say, fully made it. I mean, obviously they fully made the decision because you know they bought the bike and got their license, but well, I guess what I'm saying is I wouldn't want someone to feel like they were pressured into it um, if, I, if I tried to convince them. So I guess that where that leads me to is, uh, hang on. <laughs> like, so I guess what the question it brings up for me is, is it, is it bad to try to convince someone? You know, I'm not one to pressure people into things that they don't want to do. I've, I've always been, everything I do in my life, I do because I want to do it. I don't let somebody pressure me into it. Um, at least, at least I try to do that. So, I'm just not sure if it's the smartest thing to tell someone, hey, you know, I know you're nervous about it, but just buy a bike and like practically force them to, and then have them get hurt, and then, I mean, you know, lose their friendship, or, not that that should happen, but you never know, you know, things happen, and people, Everyone's different, so I don't know. I don't know if it's a good, bad thing or not. And I guess what what really brought this up for me is I have a friend who just got a motorcycle. Hang on. <laughs> that was pretty tough. I have a friend who just got his motorcycle license, and, and, and this was one of the things that he was really battling with himself was he wasn't sure if he wanted to really do it because of the potential danger. And to that, you know, we, we both had a good conversation about it, and we both determined that there's just no reason to not do something you love, or at least that you think you love, to try it out, just because you think it might be dangerous. Because, you know, what, what kind of life are you going to live if you never do anything fun? Um, and, 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 you know, that's the motto I go by, too. You know, I, I have a dirt bike, a high-powered racing dirt bike, that I do 80 miles an hour on one tire, and I have a pretty dang powerful Harley Davidson that I'll go, you know, a buck 20 down the highway, and I'm still here, you know. I, I, I'm not saying I'm not the dumbest rider in the world, and I'm not the smartest rider in the world, but I think if you do things safely, um, I, I think you can uh, have a lot of fun and still stay alive. Now, obviously, there's a million and one things that can happen that are totally out of your control, like you know, a tractor trailer losing its load or whatever. But you know what? 
one of those things. I mean, you could be walking down the road and uh, get hit by a car, you know, walking on the side of the road. Um, you know, riding a bicycle, whatever. So there's just there's, a, there's so many different th things that could happen. And I think if you worry about them so much that you don't do anything, then what's the point of living? Now, obviously, it's a little bit off topic from... Oh, Jesus, mud. <laughs> ah! Fuck. Ah, oh, prickers. That one got me good. There's one stuck to me. Ah, uh, there we go. Jeez. I gotta get out of here. That'd be neutral. Oh, I'm getting covered. All right. That's kind of my conundrum right now. You know, I want to convince. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure if I should try to convince people to ride or just let them make that decision themselves. Because I think that for a lot of people, you know, they can't comprehend what it would be like to really, truly be on a motorcycle on the road um, until they did it. And so if they don't experience that, they might not think it's worth it, but then they might ride on the road and then find, oh crap, this is totally worth it. And that's kind of what my friend and I talked about too on our ride. Actually, it was the first ride that he had ever, that we had ever been on together because he just got his license which was really cool too and I'll have footage from that up eventually but I gotta edit that as well um, and I know he watched my video so he knows who he is but um, ah there we go <laughs> um, that's neutral that's second there we go whoa that was a little jump right there ah there we go 